Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from Western Kentucky, where else? And we are continuing our playthrough of Total War Three Kingdoms using the Eight Princes DLC, playing as our bud right down here, Simae. And we just had a fun little battle last episode, taking over the trade port of Yulin. And we will continue now with some housekeeping issues that I decided to put off. Uh, first of which, or foremost which is the promotion of Sima Ai. So we get to see what looks to be best and we have a plethora of options. Oh my goodness, I, how am I gonna make up my mind? Um, now, Sima Ai does have in his retinue, my he is controlling my archers, or I should say, yeah, all the archers that I'm utilizing so far. So I'm wondering, I think I am going to en end up leaning towards fire arrows, but let's just at least double check some of the other possibilities. Um, insight increases research rate. Armor piercing damage of his own retinue. That's also very good with the archers increasing their armor piercing abilities. Meditation. So I guess I'm still leaning towards the fire arrows just to start, just to give him, give his army an ability to deal with some towers should that, should that become an issue. So that is our promotion for Simai. Um, also, we wanted to look, I had to remind myself that I think we're in a position to work on the taxation here. Let's see, da, 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 da. noble support, there it is. We are in good position. We have that event up here, the special event. Where is it and how, we got three more turns, a plus 10 noble support, so I can set taxation safely back to, I believe, normal taxation, and we will still bump up, I think. Did I notice? Yeah, we've lost the negative effects from having, uh, Poor noble support so probably last turn even I could have uh, changed this but we'll do it now and we'll have better income now let's see yeah our income went back up to 677 which is still pathetic but boy it's a lot better than it has been um, we also need to look at and I noticed I, I couldn't remember if we had reassigned an admin we still had an open oh we actually with our promotion we now have a new assignment slot open so I think we're getting to the point where we need to take a look at who's traveling through what kind of candidates we have we have a Shizu let's kind of move over here and see what kind of abilities they may bring with them that would be beneficial to administer no nothing nothing Catching my eye here, nothing catching my eye there. Sima Zhang. I like the fact that he has no desire for higher offices, but he's clumsy. That just <laughs> that just makes me laugh every time I see that as as a trait. Um, let's see, and finally we have Shu Yu. So I don't have a lot of choices up there. And he won't be an advisor, leader, or factioner, I'm sure. So that negative, spiteful trait won't have an impact on our faction. Oh, here we go. Charitable gives him some options with increasing noble support, increasing income from peasantry. And it doesn't mean I have to use any negative food production options. But he may be the best. Oh, and I like this. If he ever needs to convert to the battlefield, I, it's just one of my favorite little little abilities here tenacity of steel really is something i like to use and overall look at that his expertise is good i think we're going to hire on shu yu before he disappears he'll he'll s satisfied let's let's make sure i have the funds hopefully after taking over the city i do yes so i think we're going to go and hire him add him to our court there we go, and now let's take a look at where we might best be able to use him. Um, do we have, I think we have Buju in um, Changsha. Yes, we do. What are your abilities here now? Restructured, 
that slot's already been filled there. Oh, I can do more than one slot within there, so I could improve construction costs, or we can go assign you maybe to a different, like maybe Kang Wu. And then we can utilize your plus reformation. I don't really know that I have any immediate reformations to build, but just getting that plus two reformation, I think, being my strength, we're just going to do that and see if that helps any movement on this bar up here. Still getting used to how that works and trying to figure out how that works. If anybody has knowledge or input, that will save me some experimentation time. I sure would appreciate it. Looks like... Uh, coming up, I think, with my recent promotion. Yeah, I should have. A, I don't know about if I need to right away fill a spy position. I don't know where to send them to make them worthwhile. But I should have a new trade agreement, too. So let's take a look at who we might have available to trade with. Let's see. Trade agreement. We have some options. We have Mao Ren who wasn't the most friendly and I thought we'd be fighting with him right off the bat. But that hasn't panned out. We have Sima Yan. If I don't see where he's located. And we also have Zhikan, who I probably won't trade with because if I'm going to end up consolidating in the south and, and working things that way i think i don't want to build a relationship but trying to solidify this northern edge i may just uh do some trade with malren try to keep him off my back i'm thinking his trade value is not the best we also have let's keep our malren options open right on our border let's i don't even know where he is simayan but we're going to open trade with him see what we can no negotiate it also is a better a better value on the trade that we get from him 416 and any of the others so let's go ahead and propose that it's a fairly even Shoot, deal son. and that also tremendously has helped our income I don't know that feels like a million bucks per turn being over a thousand right now and guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut it right back down by increasing my forces I need to get this northern force built up so we can make some moves and gain back our Changsha trade port uh, what have we got that we can hire here I'm thinking we'll kind of go halfy halfy and we'll bring on, I can only bring one at a time, it looks like, but we'll start. If I start, see, we got our ranged units there covered there. We'll have our cavalry units covered here then, and then I'll have to hire somebody um, so we can get some melee units built up in there. But for now, I'm going to hire one of you, a nice light halberd cavalry, so we can kind of do some flanking charges from the rear and... We got those already, the light sword cavalry, to go against archers. Shu Yu, you are not happy. Shame on Shu Yu. I didn't see anything that des showed des high desire of high court positions, but he definitely has it. Let's take a look at you. We have, oh, insufficient funds. So next turn, we may look at just doing a very minor... Um, promotion here to see that'll give us minor satisfaction but we are down at 17 that's high discontent <laughs> and I've gotten rid of low discontent um, nobles before and we'll see if we can keep him on we don't need him to become a casualty we'll see what kind of positions we can give him and then the final thing we got to do before we get moving on and having some fun is we got to reform open and available. And I'm so worried right now about trade agreements and income from commerce. I'm leaning towards that. But we also have an ability to gain an administrator position here. And that certainly might satisfy his need for a higher position. Let's do that first. 
and then we'll move on forward over to market regulations I'm thinking unless we have some military needs that that press us to do something over there sooner but right now that's low-key expanding in the south and unfortunately we're just gonna continue in the south okay no movement there so I think right away this is what we're looking at we'll look try and remember next turn to do a little that little minor cheap promotion for Shu Yu to keep him tiny bit happy until that administrator position comes a, a, available I think it was about six turns for that reform to complete and uh, this is where we'll call it a turn and move forward see what new surprises come our way Okay, what have we got? Baijin would like a non-aggression pact. And I'm fine with that, potentially. Where the heck are you located? Ah, up in the north. Oh, I'm happy to get that going with you up in the north. Very good, very good. And the Gu clan down in the bottom, we're going to move, I think, against Hepu, the small city. Um, to just end that threat down here so we can refocus up on Yulin Spice Market. And take another blow, or take another hit to the Jin Empire. And a noble birth, Simai, a joyous occasion, a new son has been born. Just as a refresher... Oh, I'm looking at all sorts of sons. My eldest is up to year six, so I've got four very, very young children, I believe, all boys. Can never complain about that. And let's see now. We got some movement options open, but before we do that, let's look at Mr. Upset down here and see if we can do something minor to help that upsetness. Negative 15. Yeah, we need to find a way to turn that around. Let's give you a nice little promotion here. It's only a minor promotion, but we got to have you hold out. It'll give you a plus 10 satisfaction, though, for 10 turns. That's got to help. There we go. There we go. We get you up out of the red. Thank you for being satisfied with that, Shuyu. One less thing to have to worry about here. Now, let's take Simai and see how far he can get. Our target is right there. What kind of, I think we'll take, we'll just take a normal move, especially Simaim himself needs a little bit of healing, so we'll just kind of take a normal move path coming down this way. Yes, and then I don't know with our income, oh, it's fairly decent. Let's go add, our, we're down below a per turn income right now, but we're going to add one more unit here. Give us time to replenish and get ready for that move on Changsha Port. And I'm tempted here in another turn or two just to take a peek, make sure Song Wai is still even there, because if he's not, that may allow me to move forward quicker than I had planned. So it's probably about time I take a look at that too. As far as any buildings available in Changsha, I'm not sure. I'm obviously, I'll have to figure out what I want to put in this slot. But I'm going to mull over that a little longer. While we have a good income, any other, not quite any other buildings here. Can always get our tea parlor going here, and that we should be able to afford next turn. So I have a feeling, not that it helps my reform, not that any of these help reform. Oh, this one does. My merchant registry office helps my reformation. Plus three from plus two. So yeah, we're going to look, we may look at building this first, keep pushing on those positive reformation issues. And I don't think we have any noble issues right now in the Changsha province. Now we're still positive quite solidly here. So I don't have problems taking a hit on noble support. So there we go for this turn. Let's move on and see what the future brings. Oh, 
Who wants to get Mao Ren would like military access, and I think that's more because they want to get across the way. I think they were not on great terms with Sima Chi. Of course, I gave him military access, but I, I don't need people. We'll just reject this one. I don't need the 920 that much, I don't think. Plus, oh, our attitude is trending way high. So are you becoming friendly all of a sudden, Mao Ren? Do I just get greedy just for the funds, just for the cash to help me grow? Let's just do it. I can't see harm to me. It could be harm to Sima Chi. Let's go down here. Come on, Gu Clan. Sima Lun and the Jin Empire are at war. I'm fine with that. Sima Ying and Sima Di signed a peace treaty. Whoop de doo da. People of we got some new people of merit. Let's just see if any of them might be a good fit. Very low level over here. Nothing exciting. Charge read nice nice defensive buffs there. Defiant incompetent now I think I think we'll pass in the incompetent Sima Ning Fang we don't need any part of that and we already have a strategist up in our army to the north and I don't believe yeah mr. clumsy <laughs> we aren't gonna hire you for the army of north so yeah we're just in a holding pattern with those nobles passing through let's get Sima IE moving south again we are in the autumn so we're going to head into winter here. So since it's a small city and we got walls we have to worry about, we are going to wait out. We don't want to be in there in the winter, take the attrition hit, and then still have to surround them and siege them for a couple turns. We need our supplies to hold out. So we'll get up to the border. And why don't we, just in case they... Now there's not going to be much luring out of much forces down there, I don't think. So we'll just stand pat right there. And now I can be tempted to add a unit. But I think we'll hold off. We'll take a look at the building first. I think that's a, a first priority in Changsha. Let's take a look. Right here we can upgrade to the Merchant Registry Office. Increases percentage of income from commerce and it increases the reformation, which is something I want to keep pushing on just to see and figure out the best ways to gain. Okay, that's about all the building we can do at this point. I do have an option to add a unit. Is it time to add that trebuchet? That lowers our income per turn drastically, though. So we'll hold off on that. We're not we're not itching to have to move just quite yet. And let's end the turn and get prepared to move down to finish off the Gu Clan. Kui Chang wants a non-aggression pact, and I'm not sure where you are. So let's take a look on the map. I still don't know where you are, but you must be not nearby. So sure, we'll we'll do anything to <laughs> to get the cash right now. That's how I'm feeling. We can always lose support with others by breaking these negotiations down the road, but it shouldn't be an issue. They'll be down the road, like I said. So now we're moving into the winter season and being in the south, not a lot of snow. Uh, Jin Empire has signed peace with Sima Liang. Jin Empire declared war on Bai Jin. Bai Jin has a coalition going with Sima Liang. I may have to, once I finish some, some expanding in the south, start looking at forming up some coalition partners to expand on what I already have. 
We may look at some different alliances coming up, but I think we're at a point where I'm not too concerned about that yet. Character rank, so we have a promotion for Sima Yin. We'll take a look at that. And we have completed our merchant registry office, so it looks like we have increased. That, yellow, that green bar up here has a slightly different color, so we've made some progress. So it looks like building those buildings is the way to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And I had somebody in that province that should have helped boost that score. So I think that may be the way it works and how that dynamic works. We do have someone else moving through the territory. We'll take a look and see if it's a worthy, worthy general to add up north, although it's another of a similar type. Diao Wan Zhu. Committed, direct, and vigilant. None of those talking about requiring higher office. We got the buff of rained block chance and charge reflection. So nothing great overall in these stats, but could be someone to help expand that army. So we got a little time while she'll be passing through our court. So we'll, we'll keep that in the back of our head. Just looking for the right addition over here to my force. And don't feel quite like I found it. It might be Shu Yu that ends up having to go out there, but um, boy, he's going to be tough to keep happy. What's the cost? I'm giving you another little promotion here just to satisfy you for a tiny bit. Hmm. It's only 800. I can afford it. Probably better spent elsewhere. But I feel... Well, you, I hope you prove me you're worth the investment, Shu Yu. I hope you show to be worth the investment. Now we got a promotion for Sima Yin. Let's see what those options are. Sima Yin, we can do fire arrows with you, but you are not using, you are not having archers in your retinue. Unbreakable plus morale when defending. I'm kind of looking at building on your authority strength, and it opens up. What does it open up? Mighty knockback. So it opens up some other things that might be useful down the road. Um, Understanding isn't so important to me, and neither is the night battles or fire arrows. So we're going to go with meditation. Not perfect as a perk or as a promotion, but it does start getting me in, in some areas where I think will be benefited down the road. And we are in the winter, but we don't have snow on the ground, so I don't know if the winter attrition effects are going to be as drastic. Does anyone else out there know? I don't know. I don't have enough experience. Let's see what it's telling me on his current thing right here. Now, climate does have a negative impact. That's for sure. That is for sure. So I think one final turn. I can reach a small city next turn in the spring. So I think I'm going to hold out just from a supply standpoint so I don't run out of supplies while I'm trying to siege and, and sap down those walls since I don't have trebuchets available to make my own holes in the wall. i got to be able to siege for at least a couple turns, so I think I'm going to hold off till after the winter just to make sure I can last through the siege. And at that point, I don't see anything else pressing that we just have to do. In Changsha, do we have a, enough funds to improve that one building? No, I didn't think we would. Although this next level up, we'll have to think about that next turn. I don't have sufficient funds for it at the moment. So we may look at adding up the merchant warehouses because that keeps increasing both reformation and income from commerce. So we'll, we'll look at that, keep that in mind for our next turn. Let's go see what that next turn brings us. Let's kind of back off to get an overall view a little bit. 
Still quiet on the Yulin front, so I don't see any Jin Empire heading south yet. Let's hope we don't get surprised. Sima Mo would like a. Everybody's wanting a non aggression pact all of a sudden. Let's see, can we. I wish there was a quick way to just zoom in on Sima Mo and find out exactly where he is. Is there a way to do it this way? He is a vassal of Sima Y. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Not seeing Sima Mo. Not seeing Sima Mo. In that case. We'll take the 491 and the non-aggression pact from you. Hopefully I'm getting all these non-aggression pacts because they're, they're fearing my growth. I don't know. Uh, Sima Chi requests to join. Ron Shen is still against it. So uh, there we go. That means soon Song Wai up north is going to be re requesting to come into our coalition. Faction successions. A potential traitor. One of your courtiers has loudly and dramatically denounced one of his opponents as a spy. In private, the, ex the accused admits this fact, but begs protection. In exchange, they will give you valuable secret information. I'm thinking I do. There we go for the mind alignment. Let's increase my mind alignment. I'm 10 away from the next level there. Um, it'll be subtle. I'll get that trait for five turns. And dissatisfaction. I will have dissatisfaction. Oh, that's not good though. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Otherwise, I might. I don't know that I'm ready to take expanding so much right here that negative hit to dis on dissatisfaction and my might has gone nowhere um, I wouldn't mind the first level of improvement there just to help my campaign movement range hmm and I'm not doing anything with my spies right now that I need that subtle so we're gonna break from the trend of my going for everything mind alignment because I'm not looking for satisfaction right now. We will execute and get rid of the spy. And we do have some new characters moving through. Possibly is this the time I finally get the right noble to add as a general? Possibly. Possibly. Let's find out. Not, I'm not quite legendary, but not bad. Now, cowardly. Ha, 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 ha. Oh boy, oh boy. What a lovely trait for you, Zhao Gong. <laughs> but not inherently bad there. Flames of the Phoenix. Cavalry is what you bring to the mix. Hmm. Let's also take a look at Ding Ju. You bring final rush, charge speed. Oh, I kind of like that. As I'm finding cavalry just doesn't have the speed I'm used to in other Total War games. And vigilant and enigmatic. So not too terrible there. Wow, wow, wow. And then I don't need as much as I may want another strategist or how good he is. I don't need a new strategist. And then we already looked at Daya Wang Zhu. Well, I'm kind of leading towards Zhao Gong. He's not perfect, but who is? How many perfect, perfect nobles am I going to have coming through? And I can live with the cowardly. The negative effects are really not that bad. It hurts his authority, which isn't a big issue for him anyway. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. We have a potential option. Not perfect, but potential. 
I think I do want to do that one building up here. Keep our reformation going. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. The tea parlor down. Oh, that's not the reformation building. This is. What is my limit to this? Ah, I have to become a small regional city. I didn't notice that caveat last time because it looked like I had the funds and it would have been okay to get there. Oh, market officer. No, wait. Merchant warehouses is what I was looking at. But I still need to be a small regional city for both. Okay, didn't catch that. And we aren't up there in the funds to even move up to a city city. So we got a couple levels to improve here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got the food to expand, though, so we'll keep that in mind. I think we'll hold on to the funds, and we will finally, now that it's spring, move Sima'i down to the city, see what we're up against down here. We have superior forces, but I don't have a way in, and I, I lose any advantage I have by having to scale those walls. So I think I'm going to wait just the two turns. Or I could do one turn with a ram, but we're just going to do our normal two turns, sap the walls, and then we have our way in, and then boom, 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 I don't think we're going to have an issue. So let's do it that way. And since we're not spending on buildings, then we will... Okay, Shu Yu, you're still hanging in there, being okay with your court position so I'm fine with that let's just take the next turn get closer to that siege battle sapping those walls the Jin Empire would like peace he still wants Ling Ling the large town well sorry bud mm-hmm Song Wai, and this is where he asked to join our coalition, Ruan Shen. Not as positive as he used to be about accept, accepting him into our coalition, but I am going to be the one one more time to reject. We each have our rejections. He rejects. rejects. Oh, oh, what have we got here? It looks like we may have to break our siege and head north. We got a little surprise from the Jin Empire, didn't we? No, that's Gu Shanzhu, who escaped our battle from the Yulin trade port. So she's going to try and take over the trade port bef while I take over the city here. Hmm... They're strengthening back up, but it's all very low level. I'm a thinking, I'm a thinking. We will continue on with the small city. I'm not worried about heading back north because that'll be the direction we want to go anyway. If we lose and go back on the yo yo ping pong game of uh, the trade port going back and forth, I can deal with that, I believe. But I'll contemplate that here while I look at the diplomacy going on, seeing if any of it is really important to us not really and our assignment Bu Jun is coming back so we'll have to remember here to reassign him next turn I do have the funds to increase my city to the next level it'll take a hit in my food but I can afford it so I'm kinda thinking kinda thinking that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do brings the funds way back down again and I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hold off one more turn and what kind of uh, garrison do I have over here it's decentish they're still weakened from the earlier battle um, she doesn't have the strongest of force so we'll deal with the garrison there we're gonna continue our siege next turn we're gonna see about advancing into the small city so let's just move ahead and make that happen. Oh, we got some movement up there. Shan Yu would like a non-aggression pact, which you will pay me handsomely for. Now where the heck I 
think I've seen your name way up there. And you're not anywhere I'm going to be soon, so let's accept that non-aggression pact. Improve our relations. And Ruan Shen would like to invite Simeon into our coalition. Now there's... There's someone we can both get behind, perhaps. Where's Sima Yan? Well, let, this one has the magnifying glass, so I can find out. Um, I'm fine putting Sima Yan into the coalition at this point. He's way off in the nowhere. It could be that it deteriorates coalition by wanting to drag us into some kind of war over where we aren't. But let's just grow our coalition here and see see how that changes the dynamic. You never learn anything if you don't try anything. So we'll give that a try. And our trade port is under siege now. Well, I'm going to return the favor and go after the city. And the Jin Empire has declared war on Zhang Pingting. What have we here? Enemy spy activity, larceny. An enemy spy has successfully stolen an item of importance, absconding with our valuables without raising even a single cry of alarm. Well, what did they steal? Do I get to find out here in a minute? We'll find out. We have a new reform that has completed. That means we should have some office positions to fill. We got some new characters moving through, so we'll look at that. And sieges and blockades, well, we know about that. Now, Shu Yu is being recalled, and that gives me the reminder that let's send our guy back to Changsha. And Bu Jun, that's going to be you. And we'll work on Reformation again. We'll keep that buff in there, and I do see that I have another administrator assignment position open, which means I have another administrator position open up here. And Ling Hong, are you going to be the one that I end up putting in there? Nope. Oh, that's what happened. The guy I hired. Look at He's gone now. He has skedaddled. He was the spy that I brought aboard. Oh, that's something new. The first time I've had that happen. Who knows what he took? But apparently he took something. And he has now gone out of my court. So I may have to look at doing some hiring up here. But before I do that... Let's do fun. We've been, we're at the limits of the length on our episode. I think we're getting near them. If, if we may have time for a little battle that is a close victory still, even though we can break through the walls, let's do the battle up here. Just to have some little battle fun in this episode. Should be something we can take care of no problem. Then it'll free us up to move north to the trade port that's under siege and hopefully we can wrap things up with the Gu Empire. Okay, here's the glorious city we are about to attack. And where is my broken wall that we spent our time trying to break through? Or is it not the second turn? Did I not pay attention? Did I absolutely not pay attention? Did two turns not go by? Did we not sap a wall somewhere? <laughs> oh wait, we got a tiny little opening. That's the smallest opening I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, okay, sometimes you can't get those big breaches after all, I guess. We got this tiny little gapper here that they can easily clog up. No wonder they were predicted to, to 
give us a challenge on this one. Let's get our archers over there. We're going to have to definitely bring them in to pelt down on that opening. Oh, they can't. They aren't guerrilla guerrilla forces. Here we go. There's the archers that we're going to have to bring up to weaken and puncture through. Boy, that's just a narrow gap. Oh my lord. Haven't had that. So we may have to scale some walls. Unfortunately, we got a tower right here which makes things a little awkward but we got walls that are very scalable over here that we won't be pelted upon if we try scaling those walls so let's take a look at who we can best scale the walls with right here our sword infantry did a marvelous effort on a different playthrough in scaling some walls so we will utilize them the rest of us are going to need to punch through right here Back. We'll bring them. How far does this tower reach again over there? We'll bring them off to the side So they can kind of maybe go around the archers once they get placed up there. I'm gonna have cavalry That's gonna have to come in somewhere that small opening or we're gonna have to take this gate at some point to bring them in or a different gate I don't know Which gate will be more sense to bring the cavalry into Let's just keep the cavalry over in this direction so we can pivot them quickly and easily as necessary. And then to follow in to hold anything that we weaken or as after we punch through, we'll have our spearmen right there. Now let's get our generals up to the front after we punch. Little stutter pause there. Okay, I think. This is how we're gonna do it. Let's start the battle. Okay, yeah, he is plugging it up big time. So we got some archers we gotta bring forward that have gotta unplug that hole. And we have some soldiers that need to climb these walls. Post haste. We'll walk them a little bit to give the archers a little time to weaken. In fact, we will take one of our axemen over here. See if we can't disrupt some of these archers that are raining arrows down upon us. Okay, we've scared the spearmen out of the gap opening. Time to race our guys in there. Now let's get back on you here. We got to get you out of that gap. The gap is plugged up once again. No wonder they predicted these kind of casualties for us. We are climbing the walls. Oh, our forces retreated, did not make it. finally making a little progress through that tiny little opening there oh my goodness how pathetic is that opening okay we can punch through let's get in there let's get in there knock off those archers on the wall
get over to that gate. See if we can't get some extra ways in for the cavalry, and we will start swinging the cavalry over. Okay, we've done it all without our leaders. Time to bring them into the fray. Why I felt they needed protection. Well, Sima I kind of wanted to give him a chance to heal back up, and I had a feeling we'd be able to do just fine without him. Might have cost us less casualties. We'll find out. You know, hindsight is always... Oh my goodness, we are getting pelted here. Where are my archers? Let's get these swordsmen down to go against these spears here. Get you up there to take care of them. And let's go after these last spearmen here. Then we've got a clear shot to the city center and the halberds parked out there. In fact, let's start our trek to the city center. Let's take this tower down. And let's see about bringing in our cavalry. We got a little cavalry loose over there. Sounds like a good target for our generals. Time to move on the city center at this point. Get our cavalry moving against their cavalry. Take that out. Final rush going now. And even though we're moving into halberds and we are on horseback, we will be fine. They aren't going to last very long, I don't think, with the shock of my generals moving into them. Looks like that's about it. We will take over. And they are cracking even as we speak. There we go. That should be it. There we go. Fun little battle. I don't know why they thought it. Well, we lost more than you would think with that tiny little open 
opening our sappers. We're going to have to talk to the sappers about doing a little more effective job next time. And it was a close victory after all, but it was a victory. Took a little more damage than I'm used to with the archers, but they, unlike a previous battle I had in a city, I think in my other playthrough, I think it was with Sun John, where they gave me the walls. They parked in the city center and I didn't have to worry about depletion from trying to bust through the walls. This is just the opposite. You can see the damage that can happen even with a meager little force taking the walls and have to, having to fight through those little gaps. A lot more attrition that way. So we do have the small city. We'll be able to hopefully move out next time and go back up to relieve or retake the port. So here at that point with that little battle out of the way, um, I think we're... Even though it looks like we're taking one step forward, two steps back kind of a thing, uh, I think we are making forward progress. Uh, I think I said that backwards. How about two steps forward, one step back? That, 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 that at least lets us make progress. We will continue with all the little housekeeping that we have at the end of this turn. We have no more incursions in the north. All we did get and see earlier Jin Empire activity up here kind of cross it along to the north. So maybe he's going to work on moving down to reinforce down here on the Kong Wu livestock farm. So we're going to have to get moving down here if we want to take all this stuff or hold on to it and keep it. So that's what's coming up in the following episode. This is Zig Zag Zog signing off from Western Kentucky and I want to thank everybody for watching.